All right, guys, thank you for coming to Bama B's YouTube channel. Today, what I'm doing uh, is in the middle of the winter, but I've got a person that's got strawberries and they want, uh, they want to pollinate their strawberries. They said they're fixing to come into bloom. It's uh, about 45 degrees today and it's overcast and it's been raining. So uh, it just had a stop in the brain. And so what I'm doing, I'm transferring these uh, bees that were in a divided five frame the left side died the right side's still alive so i'm gonna bring them out put them over here i've got a couple frames that are good frames of pollen and uh i uh, got a jar of honey just in case they're a little light and i'll put that inside one of the frames as well if i need to and i've got a couple other good drawn out from uh frames of comb and this has a honey box on it a super and i'm assuming they still have some uh some nectar in there I've got a one gallon feeder that I may put on top of them uh, before I take them out there to it. It's a fresh bottom board and uh, box. Uh, they're both dry. So uh, like I said, it's been raining, so I didn't want to transport them in that. So also I wanted to make sure I've got a good laying queen in there to see what condition this is. Uh, this is gonna be probably a little hectic um, for my bees. Like I said, it's overcast. There is no bees flying. So we're fixing to see what it's like on a cold overcast day. So this is the worst possible day you can work bees. So if they're a little grumpy, no big deal. So that's why I'm suited up. I've got my wife Honey here with me and she's got her camera and we're gonna try to catch a picture of the queen. Um, so if you hear her camera snapping shots, it's her taking some pictures. So. They're already like, what is, what's going on here? If I don't want to kill the queen, I mean, it's a ton of year, that'd be bad. I can't replace her. That frame's a little, a little too small. The problem is I had a, a medium a bunch of mediums but when i first started i got some shallows from a guy so and so this is one of those frames i'm going to take out as you can see, the they drew the comb all wonky in there, so I'm gonna get rid of that frame. And what I'm gonna put in there is a frame that looks like that. I've got several in there already, so. But I gave them a little bit of space so I can get in here. I'm just gonna keep smoking. Normally I don't use quite so much smoke, but today, like I said, it's gonna be a little bit hard on the bees so they got nectar and they got pollen in here and they had a high beetle they were in the south 
then we'll try to put these back in the order in which I took them out. So this is what they look like. Not too, too bad today. I got a lot of black, like these smaller black bees in there. I don't see the queen on this frame. Hoping I find her in the first pass. So. And then we got a little more feisty here in the middle. There's that queen right there. See how it's got a pretty back? Yeah. Right there. Yeah. Here she goes in the wood. Is that enough? Yeah. You got some good pictures of her? I hope so. So, guys, I'm going to show y'all. There's the queen right there running around. While we look at the camera, see if it's showing her. Right mm -hmm. there. Move it down some. So there she is right there. Mm -hmm. As you can see, there's brood in here. Cat brood and larva. So I'm going to put her in there. So now that I got the queen in there, and I know I got the queen, the rest is fairly straightforward. So this is what they look like in the wintertime. So I'm going to show y'all. So that's what they look like. the other side of them so wow a whole slab of brood right here and brood on this side let me see if I can get that get them out the way there so Hey guys, so I'm fixing to finish this up. If you're still with me, please like and subscribe. So I'm gonna try to Kevin, so. 
I can't stop it with these gloves on. All right, guys, please like and subscribe and uh, go to BamaBees.com if you want to daughter off one of these queens. Uh, my telephone number's on there. Give me a call, and I'll be glad to take care of you. Thank you.